Did you know that you can create multiple lists of actions in drafts? This week, I'm going to show you how to do that. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Drafts. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to set you up with multiple lists of actions. Now the question is why would you want to do that? Well a lot of us are using many different apps. I have for example Todoist, Evernote, Dropbox, iCloud. I have many different apps and particularly with my Evernote account I want to drafts to send notes to various different master notes that I've created in Evernote. Now for, for me to do that I can set up as I covered a few weeks ago uh, an action script for that but with, with drafts you can set up specific action lists for different apps that you're using. Now to be fair with Todoist for example I'm only using probably one or two actions within Todoist but with Evernote I have about five or six in my main account that I'm using all the time and so I want a nice clean view to be able to go straight to the action that I want without having one long list of all the actions and it gets very messy. So a little bit similar to what we did in a previous episode about creating separators where well you can actually create separate lists and I'm going to show you how to do that in this week's episode. Now before I go any further I would just like to say if you do get any value from this I would be most grateful if you would hit that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet it would be an honor if you would just hit that subscribe button. Okay let's go into drafts now and I'll show you how to set up different lists for your action scripts. Okay so what we have is as you know if you created a, a, a note or a task in here what you would be able to do is you can either use your quick entry from the top of the keyboard as I meant showed you I think last week with the dictation or you can go to the top right hand corner here and click on the uh, your actions and you can tap there and you can get your different actions the different groups they call it here so I've got frequent I've got Evernote I've created one for Evernote and now this is my real uh, account so what you have here is I can actually organize these as I do so I've got my weight tracker from 2018 which actually can be deleted now because I'm not tracking my weight at the moment I've got Todoist videos ideas Evernote video ideas, working with work and productivity mastery series and stuff and blog post ideas. So this means that I can quickly go in there and just append these to the list which I showed you in a previous episode. And if I go back, oops sorry, I'll go back in there and as you can see I've got a lot here. Some of them I haven't actually moved around, I mean they've just been there. But some of them might be that you want to create one for your social media account. So I've got here, um, Roche is a company that I work with, I've got message and tweet. Um, but you can create other ones like for Facebook and stuff like that that you may want to add directly to the accounts. And as long as you have your Facebook account or your Twitter account set up, you can create one for social media. But the question is, is how do you create these actual keyboard, uh, these actual groups? Well, the simple thing is, is if you click on the manage down at the bottom right hand corner there click on manage and you've got a number of things here you can edit them you can change the names you can do anything you like with those or in this case if you look at the top left right hand corner again you've got a plus so I can create a new one and I can just add the name in here so I can say new uh, group and I can assign it a color so let's give that purple I can as you know I can assign it a whatever I want to do I can assign it an icon and I may want to create uh, anything in here so uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do so I'm just going to give it a star and then I've done. So what's happened is and then when you go further down again from this group you can actually set up how you want uh, drafts to organize this. So in here you've got nothing, archive and trash. I'm going to hit trash because once I've assigned it I don't need to archive it. And I should just point out while I'm in here, let's just come out of that a minute, while I'm in here, oh God, I've got all these, while I'm in here, by the way, you, when you go into the, uh, I'm sorry, I've got the top right hand, left hand corner, you've got this uh, page sign. If you click on that 
Uh, you've actually got your inbox flagged archive, so I've got loads of archived ones in there. Uh, and I have all, and I actually even have my trash, and I don't know how long that goes down, but I've got a load of the ones that I've collected in there. So it's all in there. I really want though, I don't re so you can actually get back to your notes by just going into that top left, top left hand corner. You've got your flagged ones, your archive ones, and your all. And we'll cover all that in a, in a later date. But really what I'm focused on is this part here. By the way, if you wanted to, you can actually edit these. So I can uh, click on that. Uh, I can actually uh, operations. Oops, <laughs> I'm in the completely the wrong place at the moment. Let's just start again. So I click on here and click on there. And then if I go into manage, I can edit these. So I've got this as a social. So let's move in there and I can say social. I want to add media. So I'll add social media and that's in there. I'm going to give that, say, the uh, I don't know, green. <laughs> and maybe I want to give that the Twitter sign. Um, actually, we'll change that to blue. One of the blues uh, anyway that will do done so I've got my social media and again I've got it set up as trash at the bottom I can make it available as a keyboard if I wish so you can just add the click that one on or I can avail it in the list so it's entirely up to me how I want to do it uh, and you can add things from here so I can just tap add action and I can create a new action so let's just say Facebook I don't think I've actually got Facebook in here um, but let's just say Facebook post and then click on here, tap the plus, go down and look for Facebook. Now I'm not sure Facebook is in here, <laughs> so I probably don't know it isn't in here. Um, but uh, as you can see, I've got to do it, Evernote, Box, Outlook, Gmail, um, social. Um, but I can actually go to the, uh, I can actually go to the action directory and I'm sure that I would find a Facebook post but let's just click done for now so you can see Facebook post has come in there and actually while I'm there you can you do actually have the Facebook icon so I can just tap on that add actions and then it's got the Facebook in there Twi Twitter maybe Twitter should be blue so let's give it a, a, a kind of blue so I can actually create all sorts of actions that I want I can edit my actions I can create new groups I can do whatever I want to do with these so this new group is actually set up as a keyboard so I don't want it as a keyboard I just want it as a list so there you go so you do see the in down there you see the actual signs because if I have too many keyboards I'm just going to spend too much time looking for the keyboard so hopefully that's giving you an idea you can create your own groups within within drafts which I think is re another great way to organize stuff all you have to do is go to the top right hand corner click on your actions click on the the group that you want click on manage and then you've got the plus in the top right and you've got the edit in the bottom left that you can actually play around and redo these if you wish okay thanks very much for watching this and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you for watching this video now if you want to take your productivity to a higher level then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course. And it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.